guys, welcome back to the Planner Pixie Co. Show and welcome to another plan with me. So this is the week of October 30th through November 5th. I feel very strange putting down an, um, an October kit. A Halloween kit in November, but this technically was the week of Halloween. So that meant I got to use like a bunch of Halloween kits this year, so I'm here for it. Um... This was exclusive art to our shop. I literally just laid down my October base, which was this art as well, but it is called Planoween. Did I already say that? Probably. This was a like Halloween planner party theme. I think it turned out so cute. I, this scene just, uh, the art just blew me away. And this was a collab with uh, Alicia Craft. I th think this was our very first collab that we did, right? Pretty sure. Um, I do have the 10 page ultimate kit here because it's got all the things that you would ever need even though I just kept printing off extra stuff that I don't need. They got the tall box here. We got the double box. I'm going to try to pull all of this in somehow because I just love it all. I've got these, which I've said this in the past, I don't know how many, and I don't know how many more times I have these printed before I'm not going to print them no more. But if you have the ultimate kit, you get two patterns in it and you shouldn't need an extra sheet of patterns. So I do have these, uh, these two extra color sheets because this color is too fun to not pull in. And then here is the collab. Did I do all of it? No. So I'm switching out the underlays because y'all know I'm just not about a lot of those underlays. Some of it's just too much for me. And it was spider webs, I think, is what the underlays was. And I just want to do the simple confetti. So here is what the foil bundle looks like and I did the, I had the printable which we always like to trade out. I give her the printable kit, uh, the printable of the kit and she gives me the printable of the foil. That's kind of how we, I guess, repay each other. And um, so the way she does our collabs, each box fits perfectly over each of her boxes fits perfectly over each of my boxes. She formats it exactly for each box. So it's going to work perfectly. So there's all of those boxes. Here is the bottom washi. I did pull an actually, um, pulled another washi sheet uh, because I just want it to be a lot more, I don't know. What does the washi look like? Yeah, I just don't want to cover up that. So I'm just going to use, y'all know me, I am the queen of simplicity over here. So um, I'm going to use this washi strip and then use this washi strip. So you've got like some dividers, some little deco, you've got your weekend banner and your numbers. And then we have headers here. All kinds of headers, but also I feel like you could use those as dividers too. You've got two more boxes here for a pattern box and then your extra box on your washi sheet um, and y'all see how perfectly these fit once I get them laid down and then the big double box and then two different options for the tall box you've got your whole reinforcements and like some little swoopies here I do have my finer confetti underlays and I do have a finer confetti header overlay. So I'm so excited to get this one laid down. I feel like I've not laid down stickers in so long. I really haven't. I haven't really laid stickers down in so, so long. So this is exciting times around here.
So guys, in putting down my kit, I have realized that my stickers were size wrong. Um, and it is no fault of Alicia's. It's my own fault I didn't realize. So sometimes, and I don't know why, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying down my other stickers. I don't know why, but it's like my silhouette program has a mind of its own. And it even does it with my own files too. I have to really be diligent about making sure that they're saving in the right file size. But sometimes I'll have something completely done and it will print too small. Um, and I don't know why it happens and I have to go in and fix it. So my machines are very finicky and they don't like to cut anybody's printables but my own um so I always have to go in and adjust everybody's any printable that I buy it don't matter what shop I have to adjust them to my own like page size and apparently something went awry as I was doing that and so I'm gonna have to redo that pixie pack which not pixie pack I'm gonna have to redo that foil bundle which sucks had it completely done. What am I looking for? I need my... Um, so yeah, I just wanted to point that out that I was supposed to put a sticker there. We'll just do it like this, I guess. Is that how we're going to do it? Sure, because that's already down. I can't talk and lay stickers down at the same time. You guys know this. Um, this is supposed to be... A box extender but yeah so I just wanted to elaborate on why that washi did not fit it's just something within my silhouette program I don't know it's so weird Casey's does some weird stuff too when he's cutting like it'll just randomly change our cut settings and mine does it too I don't know it's just it's just a weird finicky program so I'm gonna have to redo that before I can even finish this spread, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. I don't want to put them down and them not fit because that's just going to look weird. did get all of my foil fixed obviously here we are um i just put happy halloween on the side because it was of course halloween week that's from one of our sidebar quotes um i did color block this one i'm really enjoying color blocking it, like i you should do it if you can like if you have the boxes to do it and the good thing about these ultimate kits is you have plenty i mean i even really mostly had enough either even with our full kit but the uh ultimate kit top tier um okay pick list and print this day that font is our april font of the month i did some plan with me prep which was for the seaside kit um that font is so stinking cute i love all of the curly cues in it i just wanted to use it as soon as possible so you guys could see it in action if you want to order any uh custom scripts that is available in the shop right now and only through the month of april all right i filmed plan with me i filmed a said plan with me was it the yeah it was the seaside one look at me go all in one day i need to get back to that again i made chicken and rice this night and i'm sure it was delicious and I had a little design sesh. Yeah. The little ghosty is from uh, Sweet Ava's Paper, you guys. I do think that she still has the sale going at 50 cents a sheet. I just went and bought quite a bit. I'm pretty sure she said it was going until they sold out. So go get yourself some Sweet Ava's Paper. I'll have her linked below. 50 cents a sheet, you guys. Come on. I stocked up on my faves. Um... Casey cut this day. I don't know why sometimes I do not format my scripts correctly. 
I swear that I look at the box that's supposed to go in and then I still do it wrong. I mean, we are talking about me, so whatever. But I had to cut that one. So Casey was cutting this day and then what did I do? I don't know. I designed all day, I think. November exclusives all day. So see how that one just fit perfectly in there? I do look. And my ink on my printer was going out, I think. So I just fill it in with a Sharpie. No big deal. It fixes it. I just love the colors of this kit. I do. I'm going to have to pull them for a pixie palette in the future. Did I say that in the beginning? I don't know. I literally just filmed this the other day and I don't even remember. I love that color right there. And that's where I think, like, the indigo foil color would look really good with this one. I just like glitter. I like the glitter and the hollow foils the best. So anytime I can use one of those, I just do. Um, I had to then print all of the November exclusives. The little printers from Carly Plans. I put on some new nails because then I had to film all of those exclusives. And I just... I just don't like doing plan with me's these days without my nails on. I messed this one up too. So see, I had to cut it. I don't know. That nail sticker is an old one from our shop. They're not available anymore. Sorry. They didn't sell well anyway, so <laughs> I don't think y'all want them. Um, exclusives. I had to, like I said, film all of those and get everything uploaded. What was this day? Tuesday. Oh, yeah, because the next day was November 1st. Is it not weird doing a Halloween spread in November? I guess. I'm going to have to find a concert spread for this November. I'm going to a concert the week before Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. I'm not going to tell you guys who it is yet, but I'm stoked. Um... I started by the SPC kit, but she took all the add-ons away. I don't know why she does that. I don't understand because I'm sure there was a tall box and I have to have tall box. So I just may have to make something. Um, and I can't use the concert one again because it is not, or the country one again because it's not country, believe it or not. Um, Casey washed the dishes and I had a 3 a.m. Red Bull. My man. I don't know. I was in the office till 6 a.m. I was bound and determined to have that video up on the 1st. So I had to get it done. So I drank a Red Bull at 3 a.m. to help myself along. In office till 6 a.m. Ridiculous. Sometimes I got to do what I got to do. And sometimes I got to stay up till 6 a.m. But then I pay for it for sure. That pink is so pretty. Hot pink hollow would go good with this one too. There's so many good foils that would go. Lavender confetti. So tired. See? No sleep. It just has to happen sometimes though. It just does. Um, I worked on printing orders when I got up. So many printer and machine... <laughs> stickers and then I taped all of my foil sheets which if you didn't know I tape all of them I foil before I cut and so I have to tape my registration marks so that they don't foil or they wouldn't cut my machines would be like no thank you I don't like this the next thing was an uploaded vlog I've got to work on my vlog tonight. And then I had a bath night. I was just tired. And I just needed to relax, I guess. And I think Halloween. Did I watch Halloween this night? I did. I could not. I mean, even though this was November 1st, I could not let, like, the Halloween season go. I was still hanging on to it without watching Halloween. It's my favorite the first one, just the old school Halloween. It's so nostalgic. I love it. I mean, you know, no crazy like special effects because back then it just didn't happen. But it's just so good. There's not been another one like it. I mean, I like some of the other older ones. That last one they put out was trash. 
uh, they just didn't end it. They didn't do it justice. Uh, morning cuddles. I, I don't know what that means, honestly. Sex, maybe. <laughs> I doubt it, though. I don't normally mark that in here. I'm inquiring why minds want to know when you guys... When you guys mark cuddles, is that what that means? Because I take it as that. And you're just telling the world. <laughs> uh, I don't mark that, but in my monthly. And I don't do it until after I have filmed you guys. Anyway, uh, it was cold. It started getting cold. And uh, we turned the heat on for the first time. And I used like a little snowman jumperoo there. Did some laundry. Plan with me prep. What did I prep? What was going on the plan with me this week? I prepped Burger Shack. And then I filmed it again. I prepped and filmed in the same day. That's doing a lot. Because that's... Uh, I hate plan with me prep. I hate pulling stickers for my spreads. If I could just do everything but pull the stickers... I would never get behind, I don't think. I don't really like making the scripts, but I don't hate it as bad as I used to because I feel like I've gotten pretty good at them, but still. Slept in this day. I was still tired from the 6 a.m. shenanigans. Not a cute little fox and cactus. I don't know what that is. Sleeping there. I went to Walmart with my friend Kim this day. And my ink messed up on this one too. I don't know. She called me up out of the blue. Or she didn't call me. She texted me. And asked me if I wanted to go with her. And I was like, sure. I need to get a few things. And I've not, I've not hung out with her since. <laughs> it's just a weird situation. It's not mine to talk about. But... I feel sad about it. Um, then I had a spicy chicken for dinner. I think I was just reaching to put things in this day. And there's my ink messing up again. <laughs> I don't send stuff out like that to you. If I catch it. I mean, I do have old eyeballs. So, just know. If you have a little spot like that, just just fill it in with a Sharpie. It looks fine washed the dishes and I'm using these little headphones because I listened to Matthew Perry's memoir that's what that was called the other day when I could not remember it was like biography autobiography that was not the words I was looking for I was looking for memoir that's what it was so I started listening to his book that day not that I had headphones on or anything but I didn't really have any thing else to use. I'm not really an audiobook listener, but I got into it there for a few. I listened to a few. Matthew Perry. Uh, what was the iCarly Chicks that I'm glad my mom died or something like that. And I did listen to Britney Spears. And I was listening to Jessica Simpson. I don't think I ever finished that one. It was just a bunch of celebrities I was listening to. Um, I made a Lowe's order this day and I have no idea what that was. Who knows? Because we're still not even done with that stupid bathroom. And then I cut all of the foil sheets to be foiled. And then I foiled all of the sheets, which I'll be doing similar things tomorrow. Also need to work on my taxes. I have one week exactly to get my taxes done. I'm stressing. I just feel like once I can get that done, I can breathe a little bit. Watch the D'Amelio show this night. Don't ask me why I watched that show. I don't know because I don't follow any of these people on social media. I know who they are. You know, they're popular on TikTok. But I do watch their reality show. Um, and a design sesh to end my night. So for Sunday, Parker had a hair appointment very early in the morning i hate the way that they do their hair appointment or their appointments um they're like bring them in from eight to nine drop them off and then it's just like they get to them first come first serve sometimes he's there an hour sometimes he's there till two the last time he was there to ne nearly two so i don't really like that but i just i'm grateful to have a groomer again because roxy's just like ghosted me so and I ain't about grooming a dog. I done learned that. It's not anything I really want to do. Not that Parker. 
I don't think he would try to kill me like Roxy did. He's not that way at all, but I still just don't want to do it. I don't even like cutting his nails. Um, we did a Lowe's pickup while we were waiting on Parker, and then once we went to get him, we took him to the park to walk. Just something different, just to kind of take him out and see how he would react, and he's horrible. He has no manners whatsoever. He's not a good leash walker. He tried to go after a dog. We have another hellion on our hands, and I just love that for us. Uh, you know, some dogs he likes, and some not like he likes Mama's dog, and he likes most people. But then some people, he's just like, I don't like the way you look. I'm going to bark at you. So, I don't know about him sometimes. I filmed a base this day, which was a football kit and my August monthly. And then I worked on cutting orders because I guess I got them f all foiled the day before. And I uploaded another vlog. I guess. Um, I was just doing like daily vlogs there for a minute. But here's what it looks like. I just love it. It's so pretty. I love the colors so, so much. It's my favorite this year. Obviously. Um, but... Right now, I'm just going to show you uh, the leftovers that I have. So, if you don't know, we have a Facebook group. I'll have it linked below. But I just go in and I put all of my leftovers from each month into a bag. And then I de-stash some stuff and just kind of pay it forward. And I do a little game in the Facebook group with a giveaway. And that's the only place that you can have a chance at this giveaway. I was saying in my last vlog, they're really stacking up. I've got September and October to do. So I hope to, I need to jot that down to remember to do that next week. And this will be the start of November. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm on a roll, you guys. I hope I can stay in this lane. So uh, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Like, subscribe, do all the things so you don't miss all the things. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye!